let us discuss about implantation as soon as the fertilization process is over the zygote which is in diploid in nature starts dividing into two cells which are identical to each other they are called as blastomeres you can see in the diagram this is a fallopian tube part in the ampulla region fertilization process takes place so as soon as the fertilization process is over then it start dividing into two cells so that two cells are called as blastomeres then two cells dividing into are four cells four cells into eight cells eight cells into 16 16 into 32 so on so after 72 hours of fertilization that will be an another structure called morula so you can see here after 72 hours of fertilization a berry shape loose collection of cells which has 16 nearly it is actually 8 to 16 cells will be present in this stage and this stage we call it as morula so you can see here and this is we call after 72 hours of fertilization 8 to 16 cells are formed so that stage we are calling as morula morula continues to divide and transform into blastocyst and move further into the uterus so after this morula stage there is a blastocyst stage and this blastocyst is also actually the blastomeres which are present inside the cells actually so they start dividing and they are forming a another structure so that is we call blastocyst so that blastocyst is moves further into the uterus the cells which are present in this blastocyst and they are differentiated into two kinds of cells the first kind of cells is a flattened cells which forms the outer layer called trophoblast so trophoblasts are the outer layer they have written here blastomeres are arranged into outer layer called trophoblast so this blue color flattened cells are called trophoblast and the inner cell mass inner cells which is in the green color all these are the green cells are called as inner cell mass and this inner cell mass is going to develop into and differentiate into embryo all right after this process once the blastocyst is formed then the trophoblast layer attached to the endometrium this outer layer is a blue layer is going to attach with the endometrial layer okay because in that endometrial layer only we studied already endometrium is a layer in which implantation takes place so here this trophoblast layer attaches with the endometrium after attachment once the blastocyst is getting attached with the endometrium then that uterine wall cells it's growing rapidly it's dividing rapidly and it covers the blastocyst we will see how it is going to be so this is a trophoblast which is a flattened layer and inner cell mass is also there and after this attachment this uterine wall is going to divide rapidly and it is going to cover this full structure now this blastocyst is completely embedded in the endometrium and this process is called implantation i will repeat again morula continues to divide and transform into blastocyst and moves further into the uterus how many cells are present in the morula this 8 to 16 cells right so that morula again it continues to divide into and transform into an another structure called blastocyst and in that blastocyst two different cells are present first is the outer layer cells which is flattened in nature and they are called as trophoblast and the inner cell mass is the it's going to differentiate into an embryo and this trophoblast layer is getting attached to the endometrium so once it is getting attached to the endometrium then the uterine wall cells it's go growing rapidly and it is going to cover the trophoblast so it is completely embedded in the endometrium now so this process is called implantation and this process of implantation takes place around 6 to 12 days of after fertilization this is how implantation process takes place in the female body after fertilization process